Hi, I'm Patricia Martin. I'm part of the Vineyard Community Church, Laguna Nigel, and I have the privilege to share John 10.10 with you, the English Standard Version. Jesus said, I came that you can have life and have it abundantly. The New Living Translation says, my purpose is to give you a rich and satisfying life. The Amplified Bible says, I came that you can have life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. I believe that God does bless us outwardly with finances and things, but for me, this life that Jesus brings is inner. It's on the in, inward part. He brings peace no matter what bad things are going on. I just went through one of the hardest seasons of my life. My mother, who I love dearly and brought me to Jesus, died, and it created chaos in my family with all my relatives. And then right after that, my mother-in-law died. And it was one of, the, it was just such a hard time, you guys, for my husband and I. And I would go to Jesus and he would take me to the eye of the tornado. I would see the hundred things swirling out there and Jesus would be sitting in the eye with me and there would be peace. We would sit at a table laden with all the things he wanted to bless me with. And I want you to understand that that inner peace in life is not tied to what's going on outside. You can have terrible things, you can have trauma going on, but you can have the life of Jesus inside and he can fill you with peace. And Paul says, count it all joy when you meet various trials because it's perfecting your faith and it's developing the Lord in you. So Jesus also said, come to me when you're weary and burdened, I'll give you rest. Take my yoke on you, learn from me. I'm gentle and humble of heart. You will find rest for your souls. That's what we want. We want rest for our souls. And Jesus said, you'll find that. Take my yoke on you and learn from me. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. So Jesus, I ask right now that you would minister to your beloved, whatever they're facing, that you would bring them into the eye of that tornado that they would sit at the banqueting table with you, that they would be full of your peace. You're called the Prince of Peace, that you would show them that no matter what they're facing in their life, that you have come to bring life, that they're welling up with your life in them. I ask that you let them know that you'll never leave or forsake them and they can walk through their days, the rest of their life with you as their companion and friend, taking care of them and as their bridegroom. Amen.